Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perfect SBA lender for your hotel. So whether this is a startup hotel, acquiring an existing hotel, or even just a loan for your current hotel, you need an SBA loan to maybe make improvements or expand. This video is for you. I'm going to walk you through a dashboard that we put together. And so what we've done here is taken the publicly available SBA loan data over roughly the last five years, and we got it into this nice dashboard that we can sort and filter and so we can we can say okay i want to see all the lenders who made a loan for a hotel business that were startups or in the state of california or that was a business acquisition and and we can really sort and filter and kind of find who is going to be the exact best fit lender for your unique situation. So I'm going to walk you through how to use the dashboard. It's free. So we've put a link in the description of the video below. So you can go down there, grab the link and then follow along. Also, just a little bit of background before we dive into the dashboard and how it works. Just a little bit of background. My name is Adam Huxima. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub, and we help folks create financial projections, a lot of times for SBA loans or for potential investors. And, uh, Prior to my time uh, with Projection Hub, I was an SBA lender myself. So I was executive director of an SBA lender in Indiana. During my time there, we made over 1,500 SBA loans. So I kind of come to my work with, with the projections with that SBA perspective. And so that's a little bit of background and, and kind of how I'm here today. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into how this tool works. Okay, so... What we can see here is initially it's just a completely unfiltered dashboard here. And we can just see the top SBA lenders over the last five years. We see Huntington National Bank has almost double the next closest lender in terms of loan volume, number of loans approved during that time period. But now let's start to sort and filter this. So if we want to look at specifically hotels, we are going to scroll down here and see hotels here. We're going to click only. Okay, so right off the bat, we see Huntington no longer on the list anywhere, but there is a clear leader, G Bank, clear leader in SBA lending <clears throat> for hotels. Now, let's filter this a little bit more. So let's say you are looking to acquire an existing hotel with an SBA loan. You'd want to select change of ownership. So if we select change of ownership only, we can see Here's kind of the key leaders here in this hotel lending. First Western, Celtic Bank here, but G Bank still definitely on the top of the list. Clearly a, a specialist lender here. So let's look at startup, startup hotels and see if the list changes at all. Okay, so now G Bank actually not even in the top 10. So this is a great example of why this tool is super useful because you might have initially just thought, Oh, I'm, I'm looking for a hotel SBA loan. I should go to G Bank. Well, it looks like they probably don't like startup hotel loans. It looks like they uh, focus on acquisition or probably for existing businesses, but they're not even on the list anymore for startup. So we see Wallace Bank here as a top startup hotel lender. Again, we can also sort and filter this by state. So if we just wanted to say, let's look at the state of California, who's the top? lender in the for startup hotels in the state of California. The list changes again, Summit State Bank. We want to go back to just, let's look at all hotel loans in the state of California. So now again, we see, you know, G Bank, which was originally at the top of the list, apparently doesn't have a private presence or a strong presence in California. And so again, you can see as you sort and filter for your unique situation, you're going to find hopefully a lender that is a good fit for your situation. So now I think this this tool can be super useful and it's free, uh, but it still only gives you just some lender names, right? It doesn't really tell you what to do next. You know, you don't have uh, a name or an email or phone number of, of a person to call. So it's just like go online, Google Pinnacle Bank, and you submit a contact form, or what do you do next? So this is an area where we might be able to help. We have contacts, individual contacts that we can you know, connect you with a person at many different SBA loan banks across the country. So if, if you're having trouble really getting connected with a person, 
that can really help you walk through the process, reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. So you can just email us at support at projectionhub.com. And, and tell us a little bit about your situation. We can try to help. We also offer a free SBA review. And I'm going to put a link to the form in the description of the video below. So you can fill out that form. What it's going to do is just give me a little bit more context on your project, who you are personally. And that's really also going to help me understand who the right lender might be for your unique uh, scenario. So feel free to fill that out. That would help us kind of move the process along in terms of finding a, a lender that might make sense for you. And the last thing I wanted to mention here is that our name is Projection Hub. So I'm going to do a quick pitch here for our hotel financial projection template. So as you're going through the SBA process, you might get asked to create a set of financial projections for your hotel. And we have a projection template here built specifically for hotels. And so this just gives you a quick taste of what you would get once you fill the whole thing out and you're going to get a five year income statement summary, uh, five year cash flow summary, five year balance sheet, and, and really kind of broken down monthly as well, which is going to be required by the SBA. So this, this tool, this template is going to give you everything that you would need in terms of what SBA lender is going to be looking for in a set of projections. We'll put a link to this down in the description of the video below as well. So we hope you can take advantage of that. All right, I think that is everything. If you found this video to be helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more SBA related content and small business content. So would love it if you uh, stuck around and watch more of our videos and help spread the word. So we appreciate it. And if you have any questions at all, support at projectionhub.com. Thanks.